Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Cooler shows just like service peasants, vassals, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot, and today I would like to talk about insiders and the New York Stock Exchange. So a story broke last week about the New York Stock Exchange receiving their first fine ever for not complying with their own regulations about the distribution of information. So as it turns out, um, they were giving a time advantage to proprietary traders over their retail investors. And um, so the difference between proprietary traders, these are the trading desks at the uh, two big to fail banks all over the world and the hedge funds and all the other uh, big players in the stock markets and investing worldwide. Retail investors are the mom and pop, smaller uh, organizations, um, small businesses, and uh, you know the average uh, mom and pop so anyway, as it turns out, the New York Stock Exchange itself, yes, the New York Stock Exchange is involved in this fraud where they gave a time advantage when they sent out quotes and information from the New York Stock Exchange to the general, supposedly the general public. So the supposition is that we have an equal playing field in a free market. And of course, once again, we find out it's not true. And the, another pillar in the financial uh, sector, the New York Stock Exchange itself, is also involved in fraud, corruption, insider trading. And uh, so what we have is this has been going on since 2008. So for four years, once again, the regulators were asleep at the wheel and uh, missed um, something that should have been fairly obvious. Because I remind you, once again, we're talking about the New York Stock Exchange. So what we have is an average delay of, quote, from uh, 3.7 to 5.3 seconds for your average retail investor, uh, which may not seem like a lot of time, but in the uh, day and age of high frequency trading, um, that is an eternity. So they would give uh, the insider quote to the proprietary traders would go out in 3 to 16 milliseconds. And believe it or not, hundreds and hundreds of trades can be done in that amount of time. So essentially, the New York Stock Exchange was subsidizing an Ill illegal activity, and that is front running. So the fact is that uh, all the uh, top insiders that were privy to, to getting this information first could make all their moves in the market to make sure whether uh, a stock was going up or down. They would cash in on it first, and everybody else would get a very small part of the pie. So. Uh, so I repeat, this is a pretty outrageous story and a pretty huge story. I'm um, not surprised they're trying to marginalize it and sweep it under the carpet in light of the live war scandals and all the uh, drug cartel and terrorist money laundering. Uh, so we have a, a banking financial system that's uh, built on a foundation of fraud and corruption. Here we get another confirmation that uh, the entire system is gained, the entire system is rigged, and the New York Stock Exchange is in on it. The fact that uh, there's only a $5 million fine shows uh, once more how the buddy system works. So uh, that's Trump change in this day and age. And uh, oddly enough, the New York Stock Exchange being fined $5 million for uh, allowing and uh, being the focal, focal point for insider trading. And of course, another thing we know about this is that all the uh, persons that were on this proprietary traders list that got this time advantage who are involved in blatant insider trading uh, none of them will be uh, prosecuted or even investigated so here we have it again another example of how the entire financial system is corrupt and based on fraud what a surprise I'm useful idiot don't you be one too